Hello and welcome to the Toolkit for Traders YouTube channel where we give you free indicators, expert advisors and trading education uh, to give you the tools for trading success. So uh, we begin the very first uh, lesson of the Code Your Own EA's MQL4 programming tutorial. And this is level one, uh, uh, lesson one. I'm really excited about this. I put a lot of work into the content, the material, and I hope you'll enjoy it too. So this is the first lesson. It's the induction. So every good training course, classroom course, inducts you onto the uh, learning material, what you need to know before you start. So we're not actually gonna cover any coding stuff today we're just going to set the scene and help you get started um, get ready to get started uh, with MQL4 so in today's video we're going to cover the introduction to the course we're going to look at what this course is going to give you so you know what uh, is coming we're going to tell you who this course is for why you should do it um, how to get the most out of this course and set a bit of the scene about what MT4 and MQL4 is. So you might find some of this stuff um, really, really basic stuff you already know, but that's okay. Just sit tight, sit through it, um, because I want to take this course really slow because I know um, programming, coding can be quite daunting for people. So I want to go real baby steps at the start so I don't lose anybody along the way. So if I'm going too fast, let me know in the comments, but I think, um, I think I'm going to go at the right pace, I hope. So uh, one thing I'm going to do on every lesson, because I like this kind of thing, uh, is to bring a quote in to give us some motivation for what we're going to do. So the first quote, um, which is really why you should do this course, um, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Uh, and that's Benjamin Franklin. You know you should listen to him because the he, his face is on the $100 bill. So you've got to follow, haven't you? So what will this course give you? What will you get at the end of it? This course will show you how to set up your workspace to build and code your own indicators and expert advisors. It's actually very, very simple, but I know from experience when you're just coming out to this fresh, you're trying to navigate your way around it and it can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to show you how to set that up because if you do that right at the start, it'll be a lot smoother when you're developing in the future. Um, I'm going to teach you very slowly, like I say, I want to go in baby steps. I don't want to leave anybody behind doing this on the basis of coding in the MQL4 programming language. Um, I'm going to give you practical exercises for you to code um, and to practice troubleshooting, fault finding with your with your indicators and EAs. So, you know, um, it's, it's good to practice what you do. If you just watch the video, you just do that you'll find yourself um, not really taking it in so um, I'll give you some practical stuff to make it sink in and at the end of the course by the end of the course you will have coded your own um, by yourself three different EAs which I think is great um, they'll be very simple they won't be super complicated but they'll be yours you'll have done it and you'll uh, feel very proud of yourself that you've uh, managed to do that and it's all for free. There's no cost to this. It's all on a free YouTube channel and all the source code material that goes alongside it's gonna be available on the toolkitfortraders.com website. Again, all free in the members area, all free. And did I mention it's all free? Um, there's no premium content. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I do this for fun. Um, so you don't have to worry that I'm gonna some, some point they am down the line gonna charge you for extra stuff. This is, this is all free. So, why sh you should do this course? You know, why bother? Um, why put yourself through the rigmarole of learning to code? Isn't it really boring or something like that? Well, there's a few reasons why you should do it. Um, and I've put them into three categories of the kind of person you might be. So you might not have a major interest in writing and coding your own EAs or, or going to be a computer scientist down the line or something like that. But you might have some EAs that you like, um, but you just wish you could do, make some adjustments to them. Um, maybe you wanna, um, you know, change the default input, set in, input settings. 
um, you want to add an indicator filter or something like that you just want to play around with the ones you've already got and you're a tinkerer you know um, so if you learn if you do this course you'll have the basic understanding of what you're looking at when you go into the MQL um, to the MQ4 files to to make those simple changes maybe like uh, I was a few years ago you're a would-be coder you think it would be cool to be able to code it's a life skill that never leaves you um, and learning to code expert advisors is a fun way to get started and you know once you have this skill once you're able to code later on you you know you may be able to sell your services on the um, MetaTrader marketplace um, and, and the great thing about coding actually is that once you know one programming language um, basically you know most of them it's very very easy to pick up another one um, learning to code is a lot like learning to ride a bike it's really really hard at the start you fall over a lot that's why we're gonna go really slowly through this course but if you put in the put in the work you put in the effort once you get it it becomes very easy it becomes like second nature and then you can transfer to any different kind of bike any different kind of coding language um, the last category is if you are if you are like me a systematic trader you think that systematic trading is the way to consistent trading success that's what I believe um, you want to create your own portfolio of trading robots but you don't really trust the EAs that other people make particularly the black box systems you see on the internet that may have burnt you before you've spent money on and um, because they promised to make you a millionaire in three days and it never quite worked out that way and you end up spending a lot of money so if you if you code your own system if you code your own uh, EA um, you've got a lot more confidence in it because you, you know what's been put into it because you wrote it and um, that gives you a lot more confidence so when your when your system is in a you know in a drawdown you're not panicking because you know why you know the background what's going on in that system you've back tested it yourself so um, doing it yourself being able to code it yourself has a lot of benefits than, than using EAs that other people have coded and I think it's fun seriously I really think it's fun I like coding I like problem solving it's really really satisfying when you code something and it works and you make money from it you know what's what's uh, what's more fun than that I don't know tell me so how how to get the most out of this course um, you know what are the what are the things you need to do to get the most out of it because learning is a skill in itself and uh, you need to set yourself up so um, pick a place in time um, try and pick a place in time that you can concentrate on the content I'm not saying that you shouldn't listen to it while you're commuting or on the train or um, watching it with the kids in the background that kind of thing but you know if you really want to learn Try and re-watch it when you've got time to concentrate on it and, and to sit down and really absorb what's being said because um, that will help it sink in. Um, if you find things difficult, don't be afraid to, to go over them again. You know, coding can be confusing. Sometimes I'll use jargon that you might think, well, I don't really know what he means. So, you know, don't be afraid to re-watch it or, or ask questions, you know. Um, it, it's okay. Um, it does take a while at the start. The other thing is don't just watch you know this is a youtube series but don't just watch it you need to code as well get your once you've once we've got you set up and um, through the first couple of lessons of the system you know start trying things out um you know if you practice if you actually start typing and putting through you know, the motor skills of typing and putting in the words it will help it sink in and you'll come across problems as you type and you'll think hmm I didn't I don't really know what to do here and that's when the learning really happens so then you can start to come back to the YouTube channel ask the questions um, and, and do those kinds of things so you need to get on and code as well don't think you're gonna learn the whole thing just by watching the videos you've got to do some coding as well obviously ask questions I've said this a couple of times already but you need to ask questions if you get to a point where you don't understand it don't muddle through it ask the question YouTube's great it has this comment section section down below where you can ask a question and I will do my best to answer as many as I can and I know you if you already know it you can answer other people's questions and teaching other people is a great way to learn um, and if you understand something that somebody else doesn't you know chip in and be encouraging be positive um, there's no stupid questions we're all in this journey together um, and asking questions will help it sink in and stay motivated sometimes learning is hard and you know when you're against like a learning block a roadblock and you're trying to get through it it's hard you know you want to give up but don't give up stay positive 
and encourage each other, um, it will be worth it in the end. So, on to some, to set in the scene, a bit of learning. I'm sure most people will already know this, but it is worth covering the basics so that everyone is on the same page. So we're gonna set the scene about MetaTrader 4 and the MQL4 programming language. So MetaTrader 4, as you probably know, uh, was released, uh, was enhanced and released in a number of stages, but uh, predominantly in 2005. So it's quite an old system now, 15 years old, um, and remains the most popular platform for electronic retail FX trading, which is amazing really. Um, even though um, the company that released it um, brought out MetaTrader 5, MT5 in 2010, uh, MT4 still remains the most popular um, and with loads of brokers only do MT4 and a lot of people still use MT4 exclusively. So coding EAs and Indies in MT4 is still very worthwhile even though it has been superseded. Um, coding uh, indicators for MetaTrader 4 is done in the MQL4 programming language, which is unique to MT4, um, but it is similar to C++ or C Sharp. If any of you are familiar with coding in those languages, you'll find yourself very much at home um, using MQL4. And the good news about MQL4 and MQL5, which is the programming language for MetaTrader 5, is that they're extremely similar. They're very, very similar. And if you learn to code one, you'll pick the other one up very, very quickly. No problems at all. So what do you need to get started? Um, you need a copy of MetaTrader 4 um, downloaded and installed from your broker. And that's it. Um, all installs of MetaTrader 4 um, come included with the Meta Editor IDE, um, which means integrated development environment. It's where you write the code. So there's no need to download anything else. You don't need Visual Studio. You don't need Notepad++. You don't need anything else, any DLLs. You just need your MetaTrader 4. So assuming you already have that, you've got everything you need. So we can start to get to some meaty stuff. So that's the induction for today. Um, everything that you need to know to really get started with your coding journey. I hope um, I hope you're excited about what we're about to learn. I hope you're getting ready um, for next week's video when we're going to really get started with the meta editor. Um, we're going to look at the different file types, where those files are saved, what locations they're in, and look at creating your first EA um, from a template. And then we will compile it and I'll tell you what compiling means in the next lesson. So if you have any questions um, with all these lessons, do drop it in the comments section below. I'll answer as many as I can, um, but feel free if you know the answer to uh, answer each other's too. There's no problem with that. Let's build a community. Let's uh, go on a coding journey together. And the other way you can talk about it is you can join the conversation on the new free forum. Um, if you head to www toolkitfortraders.com sign up to the members area absolutely free um, and there's a forum on there where um, you can get the future source code for the next lessons as well as talking about the lessons and ask any questions you want to ask and I just thought I'd throw this in there in this video to get you doubly excited um, as well uh, date for the diary 23rd of December 2020 I'm going to be launching the first toolkit for traders free EA for the channel we're going to drop it on the 23rd of December so do make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, to get immediate notification of when this EA is released including um, a video on how to use it and backtest it and if you like this video please click on the like button below uh, it's really encouraging to me and it's really nice to see um, and makes me want to make more videos so do click the button um, subscribe to the channel so uh, I click the bell so you get notifications um, of when the videos are coming out which will include when I release EAs and indicators so you don't want to miss that you want to get straight in for that so do click the subscribe button and please 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 ask any questions in the comment section below I'd love to answer some questions and see what you're doing even if you just want to say thanks thumbs up you know 
put it in the comment below again that's really encouraging and the more chat we can we can do uh, the greater this community will be of people learning to code so thank you very much for watching stay tuned next week for the next installment of the mql4 programming tutorial